I, uh, I went to Las Vegas this weekend. Just the way it is. Does that say something to you? My ass, this isn't some kind of metaphor, some kind of symbol. You spilling the water. Will, will you please leave me alone? No, I wouldn't do that, would I? I wouldn't be smart enough to do that. That would be the smart thing to do. But I'm just not that damn intelligent. I don't have enough brain cells in my head to leave you alone. I hope you like that food. I don't hope that food's what you like. No, eat up, really. Go, go fill up on it. I hope you enjoy every single last drop of that, because that's it, babe. Now you're gonna know the feeling of not knowing where the next meal's coming from. Look, I have in my head what I have done, and that alone is killing me. I can't take any more of these insults, baby, please. You won't take my insults? No, 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 no. You, you will take my insults. You took my money, and you will take my insults. You'll take my insults, and my rage, and, and any other emotional spaz I feel like, and that'll be you getting off very easy. sips and you you're gone and you're there and you don't even know how to play the game and you don't even know the rules i want to know what the hell was going on in that pretty little head of yours when you stepped up to a big green craps table we huh please this is no way for us to spend our honeymoon When, when I'm gambling in Vegas and I start to lose, sometimes I'll step outside. I'll smoke a cigarette. I'll take in some fresh air. I'll look at the lights. A lot of little things I do like a ritual. Sometimes I'll take a bill out of my pocket. All right, usually a 20, maybe a 10, but it's usually a 20. It doesn't matter how this, how this started. It doesn't matter. But I'll take this bill out of my pocket and I'll write my name across the back of it. It's just one of these things that I do. I, I believe it will work as a good luck charm. I take that bill back inside, and I bet it on anything. I bet it on craps, blackjack, roulette. It, it doesn't matter. This is what I usually do. And I don't make it back in the casino. I run into my friend, my friend Steve from Portland. My best friend, the best man at my wedding. The man who my wife and I have come to vacation with. He asked if he can borrow a 20. I gave it to him. He said he was going next door to play craps. I uh, went back into the casino. I thought nothing of it. <laughs> I knew he'd pay me back. We had plans to meet our wives back at my room before dinner. He said he was going next door to play craps. At 7 o'clock, I went back to the room. I went back to the room at 7 o'clock. And Patricia, my wife, was there. But Steve and his wife, Linda, weren't. Patty said that they were going to be meeting us later. She said that Steve called, saying they were going to be meeting us at 8 o'clock. Not 7 o'clock, but 8 o'clock. My wife went to the bathroom. I started to change my shirt. And I saw it. Oh, God, fuck you. Fuck you.
I don't believe that. 